Hello from BM Mag. The 2023 Eurovision Song Contest, which we have been eagerly awaiting, concluded with Sweden's victory after a magnificent night. Actually, like many Eurovision fans, Lorene's win didn't come as a surprise to us. However, the rankings of many countries in the final were quite surprising. Without further ado, let's get started with our comments about each country. This was definitely one of the most shocking results of the night for us. You may or may not like the song, but this performance was too good to come in last place. Germany had finished last in the competition before, but we believe this was their most undeserved last place. This was the song we listened to the most when it was released. However, the vocal performance in the final fell far below our expectations, so we weren't surprised by this result. Serbia was another country that finished well below both the betting odds and expectations. Although we find the result a bit surprising in terms of Luke Black's performance, the song itself was nothing special and this is not a surprising result for this song. This was one of the most entertaining performances of the night. In our opinion, Portugal deserved a much better result. While we found Albania's vocal performance very impressive, we have repeatedly expressed that we didn't really like this song. They achieved the best possible result this song could ever get. Our expectations for this song were somewhere in the middle of the rankings at best. We can't say we found this result surprising. This was another predictable outcome, just like Albania. We think Switzerland deserved a slightly better result than this. Ramo's vocals were quite good. This is a much better song than some of those in the top 10. If it were up to the public vote, Poland would have finished 8th and we would have criticized such a result here. Fortunately, the juries made the necessary adjustments and placed it where it deserved. Moldova hovered around these rankings in the betting odds throughout the season, and they finished the contest in line with the predictions. We think it could have ranked a little higher, but we don't see a big problem here. <laughs> Finishing the competition in this place must have been a great disappointment for Spain after being favored to finish within the top 10 for months. From that point of view, this outcome is a tragedy. Actually, what stood out from the very first day was not the song itself, but the quality of Blanca's vocals. It's a bad result for Blanca, and not so bad for the song. <laughs> France experienced one of the biggest shocks of the night. Just a few days ago, the song had climbed up to third place in the betting odds, but it ended up at the bottom half of the table. Looking at some of the songs that strangely ranked very high, this one could have easily gotten a better result. We mentioned in our earlier comments that we didn't enjoy this song as much as we did when it was first released, because V found it too repetitive. Therefore, we won't complain that it ranked lower than expected. Brunette achieved a respectable result for Armenia. 
we believe this song could have finished a few places higher. It should have at least finished above the next song. I hope it all comes naturally. I hope I love this quite outside. You will amorona. No need to say much. If this song can finish 13th, then any song in the lower ranks can as well. If it were up to the public, this song would have ended up at 7th place. Fortunately, the juries were there to prevent such travesty. When we think about some of the laughable results within the top 10, the best male vocalist of the night should have ranked higher of course. We have loved this song since day one, but such a high ranking came as a bit of a surprise to us. Nevertheless, we believe this song deserves its current position. Czechia couldn't surpass their best Eurovision result which was 6th place, but they managed to achieve their second best result. If you ask us, this was by far the best song that Czechia has ever sent to Eurovision. We were glad to see Australia in the top 10, but looking at other songs that placed above it, we think 6th place would have been a fairer result. We always wanted Estonia to make it to the final, but 8th place was a bit far-fetched. The juries, who generally made good decisions this year, were a touch too generous to Estonia. We still don't understand why this song is in 7th place. If we were to make a list of the most mediocre songs that made it to the top 10 in Eurovision history, this song would have easily topped that list. Just when we were thinking that it couldn't get any worse than Belgium ranking 7th, Ukraine managed to land in 6th place with extremely optimistic points from the public. In our opinion, this is by far the worst song among the top 26. In previous years, we would often disagree with the rankings of the top 5. However, we think this year's top 5 ranking was very fair. Our main issue this year was between 6th and 10th places, and we have already expressed our opinions on that. Regarding Norway who finished 5th, we wouldn't have had any complaints even if they had won the competition. They could have easily placed 3rd if they hadn't suffered from an awful setback by the juries. Right from the beginning, we were saying that this song would get a good result even when the bookmakers kept it outside the top 10. We believe this is a well-deserved 4th place. Actually, if we are realistic, the top two places were reserved months ago. All the other songs were in a separate competition for the third place, and Noah Kirel won this race by snatching the third place with her successful performance. The green man who won the public vote by a wide margin would have won the Eurovision if he had only received 60 more points from the juries. We would have been happy with the result, regardless of which of the top two songs won. They were both excellent for different reasons. Ukraine would have still won the contest last year, even if they had participated with the chicken song. <laughs> However, to win the competition this year, an actual good song was needed, along with an exceptional performance, and Laureen provided just that. 
she delivered that exceptional performance we were all expecting from her. It's gratifying to see that for once, a good song and a performance emerged as the winner of Eurovision. What do you think of this year's competition and performances? We are looking forward to your comments. You can watch all our Eurovision videos for this season by clicking the link in the description field. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we will bring you the best fan-made Eurovision content. Thank you for watching our videos and sharing your thoughts with us. When you subscribe to the channel, don't forget to click the notification bell to stay up to date on our latest videos. Until next time, bye for now.